love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who made this country great and have been more. I'm Major uh, David K. Spear from Harlingen High School South Air Force Junior ROTC. Uh, on behalf of both uh, Hardnell, uh, Cardinal Campus, Air, uh, Army JROTC, Captain Munguia, uh, and his, his bunch here, we've worked real hard the last four or five months to help make this bridge become a good community service-based project. In both of our core values, both the Army and the Air Force, service before self and community service is highly important. This helps teach our young men and young women the value of community. They really enjoy giving of themselves uh, to community events. They do fundraisers, uh, and we also have our own scholarship program that we raise money for and, and provide uh, annual scholarships to our graduating seniors. The, the Cardinal uh, Campus Air, Army Chair OTC came in here during their spring break time and did this fantastic job to uh, paint the walls and, and the murals that you see around me. Representing the states of our veterans in uniform, sir. During the, their spring break, they spent many hours here, and we got some very talented uh, individuals uh, uh, throughout the program, so we're glad to be a part of this. During the ceremony of retreat in the armed forces of the United States, the flag is lowered folded in a triangle fold and kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. We're just really, really proud to be part of this community service event. Not only is it good for our community, but it helps bring our young people to the appreciation of what's available in our community and to make it a stronger community in this uh, part of the uh, Texas. Illusion Medical Equipment. What we do is we pretty much provide durable medical equipment towards Medicaid, Medicare, people who need it. Uh, anybody who has Medicaid, Medicare, we pretty much help them provide medical equipment so that way they can go about their day, like incontinence, uh, hospital beds, power wheelchairs, anything like that we help provide. What we're doing is we're having a charity foundation for muscular dystrophy in which people start losing their mobility and that's where we come in. Usually we provide equipment for a lot of these patients and including in the Rio Grande Valley, there's a lot of funding that needs to be donated. The one office actually in Harlingen actually takes care of the whole Rio Grande Valley. The next office would have to be in San Antonio and in Corpus. So they're always in need of foundation, uh, funding. So what we did is we had uh, a fashion show as a way of entertainment towards people who donated. We try to invite a lot of uh, medical staff, uh, offices, home health, anybody that involves pretty much coordinating with people who need uh, muscular dystrophy needs as well as medical equipment, things like that. We pretty much decided to have a fashion show because we pretty much mesh with the patients that muscular dystrophy has. So we, in order what we're gonna do with the foundations, uh, we're gonna go, it's gonna go towards repairing the equipment that needs to be repaired because with Medicaid, Medicare, there's a five year gap in which any person who does obtain a medical equipment, it can't get renewed for the next five years. So pretty much what we're doing is we're helping get donations towards repairing the equipment. because 
Actually, it's not very much well known around here. More people know about breast cancer, any type of cancer. It's just muscular dystrophy hasn't been brought out that much or exposed. So what, what we're doing is we're pretty much getting money to bring awareness as well as with the donations we get, we contribute those donations to help people repair those equipment that they need. Harlingen Medical Center is redefining the way healthcare is delivered throughout the Rio Grande Valley. The Radiology Services Department at Harlingen Medical Center offers amazing technology that's revolutionizing the diagnosis component in healthcare. Our state of the art facility offers a full range of diagnostic imaging services on an inpatient and outpatient basis. This is a 64 slide CT scanner. It provides faster images, allows better image quality, a lot different than your traditional CT scanner. Our team of caregivers is here to offer patients dedicated and compassionate care while affording all patients the personal attention they expect and deserve. At Harlingen Medical Center, we treat you like family. My name's Sarah and I'm 16. I go to Lyford High School. I'm a sophomore. I thought it would be a good opportunity because I, I want to be a little more social and meet new people and hopefully so I'm not too shy and stuff. And I think that would be a good opportunity to meet new people and kind of like open my mind towards new things and stuff. It's actually really interesting. I'm not the most historic person. I'm not like crazy about history, but it's actually really interesting. Um, one of my favorite places in the past that I went to is the Library of Congress. It's really nice and I'm really into architecture and stuff, so it's really nice over there. Um, I just had to write an essay. I don't remember how many words exactly. It's not too long, it's like half a page. And the topic was tomorrow's telecommunication needs. The, the main idea of my essay was pretty much how the world's technology is advancing day by day and we pretty much just need to keep up with that and stuff. Or we're demanding so much technology, like we're getting so used to having so many things like Facebook and video chat and all this stuff, and it's just getting like, there's more of a technological challenge, I guess you can say. Like, um, we need to just kind of get more advanced, make sure we keep up with the rest of the world. I think that like, Little things like this are good for you because you're, they look good on a resume, they're getting you prepared for college, you're growing as a person, you're maturing, you're meeting new people. It's something that every high schooler should do because um, it get, just gets you farther. It's an opportunity. You shouldn't miss out on something like that. I believe the music is a bridge between heaven and earth. Uh, I think music is the most, most sacred, most important thing um, because it makes you smile, it can make you smile, it can make you cry, and it can make you feel uh, uh, through sound, it can make you feel a lot of experiences. and. Um, I, fought, I fell in love with music since I was so young. My first picture that I have performing is at, a, at my grandma's house when I was like, like this. And I was singing to an Elvis song. So I, I got my first guitar um, when I was 13 years old. And it was an acoustic guitar. My father told me, you need to learn acoustic if you want to go electric. And, and then, well, then I, I, I did it by myself, and, and I've loved rock and roll since. One performance in, in, in Matamoros, it was, there was like 30,000 people, and uh, it was a festival for a radio station. There was many, many artists there, and we were like opening, the, and, and there was just a lot of people, and I thought, I thought I was going to get nervous and I was going to screw up everything. But when I got 
on stage, I mean, I just felt like fish in the water. Like, and then when I got down, I, I talked to the guys, to the musicians that, that played with me, and I, I just told them when we were going back, heading back home, I told them, man, that's what I want to do forever, forever. We made a lot of noise. Uh, and, and then, well, when I went back and recorded, uh, a lot of the demo songs were on, uh, are on the album. But what we did with the producer and I, we just wanted to make it more radio friendly for the Mexican audience, for the rock and espanol audience to get into the, into the radio. We went to Monterrey, we, we recorded um, a 10 song album and that's what, what I'm going to be promoting uh, and already have a video for, for the, first, the first single that came out, it, it's called Ayer and it's a, like, a, like a rock and roll with a little touch of, of country in it and it has like, like a bluesy guitars. I, I was in the whole production of, of the album and I was always checking into the bass lines and into the, into the I want this, this percussion here, and I was the shaker, and I, and I, want, and I was always focusing in, in, in every second of every song that being taken care of. So, well, I, I tried my best, and I hope you like it. Everyone, I hope everyone likes it. And well, you get it so into the music and so in, into the, the process of making it that then you go and listen to other music and, and you pay attention pay attention to the detail and and well then you pay attention to that detail and then you make it your own and and stuff like that so I, I think uh, producing this 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 album was a real growing growing experience for me I just hope they have a, a good time I mean it's all about forgetting the problems and listening and enjoying and maybe dance a little. I'm Kelo McCain, K-E-L-O-M-C-K-A-N-E. -E. You can look me up on Facebook. Give me a like me. And you can like me on Facebook. And you can look me up at, at myspace.com slash M-C-K-A-N-E. Um, KeloMcCain.com, it's, it's, it's my official website. And look me up in iTunes. And there's, there's my album there. You can listen to it. I hope you like it. And rock and roll, baby. Yeah, I think it's your turn to tell them. No way, man. I told them last week it's definitely your turn. This is the worst part of the night. Guys, guys, yeah, um, party's over. Uh-oh. CrossFit is, is not for everybody, just like any program, okay? Unless you're motivated within yourself to push yourself hard, you know, you pretty much, you, know, you can't do anything.
The basic definition of CrossFit is functional movements that are constantly varied down to high intensity. All right, so we get functional movements such as like a squat, deadlift, presses, uh, and they're constantly changing. It's always changing, never, it's never the same thing, and they're done at high intensity. I mean, you're gonna go as fast as you can, as hard as you can. I started CrossFit about two years ago uh, through a friend of mine introduced me to CrossFit, a new way of training. Uh, While well, I was doing boot camps already uh, throughout the valley, uh, then I went to CrossFit, I tried out CrossFit the first time I, I liked it, uh, so I changed over from uh, boot camps to CrossFit and so I said so. CrossFit, in the first day I tried it, it took me back to the military, military type training that I've done. Very intense, uh, very short, uh, it, the, the adrenaline rush, it was there. Same thing that I needed from the military, I got it to CrossFit for me. Uh, it's a very intense program, it changes every day, it's never the same thing, twice. So I was able to modify workouts, go down, scale down and weight, uh, and be able to still be able to have an effective workout. And that's what I like about CrossFit, it, it, is, it can be done by anybody, no matter what the disability or ability is. It's a lifestyle. Uh, for you people, you say to uh, lose weight, People use it to get stronger, faster, uh, it's a sport. Uh, people use it to, uh, uh, to use something different, okay? It can be done by anybody. Uh, and In class, we love speed, you know? so we want to go as fast as we can after we learn the top technique, you know? So CrossFit basic is, is a way of life, it's a healthy environment. Uh, we try to better people's health. Uh, better uh, mobility in, uh, in their body and stuff as they get older or athletes and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what CrossFit is. Hi, this is Kilo McCain. Look for the album Tentacion on iTunes. Hope you like it. Rock and roll.